Here's the first five games for the Carolina Panthers. Yeah. Home against the Browns, at the New York Giants, home versus the Saints, home versus the Cardinals, home versus the Niners. Now, I'm not telling you that they're playing a list of cupcakes to open up their season, but what they do have is four out of the five at home with a lone road game. We have lines for week two, a pick them in New York. What they have are winnable football games to open up their schedule. An absolute must for a team like the Panthers if they're going to be able to get the wheels in motion and find themselves putting up a winning season. Obviously, the marquee game is that week one matchup with Cleveland, which we can expand on in just a moment. But overall, when you look at this schedule here for the Panthers, you think about where some of their odds sit, whether it's the win total, make the playoffs, heck, maybe even divisional odds. Where are you on the Carolina Panthers today? It, it's I'm not all that high on them because I do want to temper the expectations. If we're looking in that division here, I mean, they're going to be battling the Atlanta Falcons here for that bottom rung because I do believe the Saints are going to have a good season, and I do also believe that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Tom Brady will do the same. But you're right. Sometimes it's just about how you start the season where you can get these players and also your new quarterback to buy in. Let's just say Baker Mayfield starts. Or forget about the schedule itself, which I'm going to talk about exactly the same teams. Let's just say they had an unbelievable first seven games, and they end up one and six. I mean, you want to talk about doom and gloom, and should Baker Mayfield be playing football anymore? All those questions would come into play. Will Matt Rule make it past week nine before he gets fired? And there's an interim coach there for the Carolina Panthers. But let's look at the schedule and how it plays out now. Now, typically, you're going to get the Cleveland Browns with the Sean Watson full go. You're not winning that game, Baker Mayfield, or no Baker Mayfield. But now you're going to get probably Jacoby Brissett, and we saw the Fandles Sportsbook odds here changed yesterday, which they were locked on Moneyline when this news came down. It went from a minus two and a half point favorite here for the Cleveland Browns now dropping to a minus one. Now we'll still wait on some details here for Deshaun Watson comes out to see if even maybe the Carolina Panthers can swing to a favorite, which wouldn't be all that crazy, but that's a winnable game against the Cleveland Browns. Now game one, the New York Giants with Daniel Jones and a completely new coaching staff. That's certainly a winnable game. Should they win it? I don't know if they'll be the favorite, but they're not going to be getting seven points there. They'll be in that one. Then you take a look at the New Orleans Saints. Well, I'm actually high on this year, Kevin. But let's also remember to ourselves, Jamie Swinton is coming back from a major injury coaching change also for New Orleans. Maybe they don't have it all the way through here. And that's a home game early on in the season for the Panthers, followed up by the Arizona Cardinals. Well, typically, Kevin, you would say to yourself, no chance they can win. Well, you know what? DeAndre Hopkins is going to play in that game because he's suspended for what? I believe the first six games of 2022 so he sits that one and then the 49 uh oh big bad 49ers Trey Lance at quarterback there you're going to be able to play in that game because also that is at home now Grant, you go on the road against the Rams and the Buccaneers that's a different story but just take a look you're right at those first few games on the schedule they're all winnable games for the Panthers